Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week we are talking about a subscriber requested topic on how to identify the best fabric to choose for your wedding dress. Before we dive into this week's topic, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, let me know if there's a particular topic you'd like me to create a video on. I am here for you, guiding you along the way, leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, wear so many different hats here at Lavella Bridal, located in Los Angeles, California. For daily content, please be sure to follow us on Instagram, at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert, and be sure to hit that follow button on TikTok, at Lavella Bridal, and at Wedding Fashion Expert. I am, of course, here in Lavella Bridal. I am wearing an Inesti Santo dress. This silk beauty is absolutely gorgeous. I started with this because if we're talking about what fabrics you should choose for wedding day, the first thing I want to talk about is oftentimes people want to match the fabric or the style of wedding dress with the time of year, the theme of the wedding, or your venue. I want you to throw all of that out the window. I want you to focus on the fabric and the material you feel beautiful and confident in and most importantly that feels really nice on your body and you want to get married in so just because it's a big satin ball gown you can wear that in summer if you want to just because you're having a summer outdoorsy wedding doesn't mean you need to be in a really simple dress that doesn't have a lot of layers because it's gonna to be too hot or you can't wear a long sleeve dress you can wear whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want. This is your day and your choice. It's, it's up to you with what you want to marry your person in. I wanted to touch on fabrics and styles of dresses that could be less forgiving. So a dress like this that is silk, it is not going to be very forgiving. The tighter you pull, you're going to see underwear lines, you're going to see hip, you're going to see some thigh. It's not going to be the most forgiving of materials. So brides who wear this, they are not fixating on how their belly looks, how their back looks. You just want to be in something super slinky like a nightgown and this is that type of a dress. I know that the question being asked was what is the best material to wear for wedding day? That's entirely up to you in terms of what makes you feel beautiful, but I wanted to show you different types of materials and fabrics and things that can be more complementing to one's body and some that are going to be less forgiving like this. I think this would be the one dress that is the least forgiving in in all aspects. So if this is what you're going for and you're really concerned about belly, you can't wear this. Pretty much, right? So if you're going to be self-conscious about your belly, which many women I work with are and totally understandable, I'm going to change into a dress that would have this look and feel, but be more forgiving so you could be more confident, you could eat whatever you wanted, right? Like this is not one that you can wear shapewear under. So you're just letting everything hang out here and there's beauty to that. We have so many brides that have opted for this dress. So it's not to say that this is not something that's not a good idea to wear. It's your personal choice and your own confidence within your body to how you want to rock it and what that looks like for you. I'm going to change into the next dress that has this sort of feel but would be more forgiving if you are one that just wants to eat whatever and not think about how your belly's gonna look. Here we have another Ines de Santo gown in the exact same material, but as you can see, it has the rouging, it does have a slit. Of course, there are options without a slit if you didn't want one, but I just wanted to show you what this would look like from the side and then it's just so much more forgiving when you have the draping. It just kind of camouflages everything versus the last dress is just what you see is what you get. Another thing that I want you to consider when it comes to a fabric like this is yes, when you walk outside, when you're doing things, it is easier to show dirt and stain and things of that sort that I don't think that should be a reason to discourage you from going with a fabric like this, 
but there are a lot of brides who get really nervous about that and don't want it so they will go for lace or beading or something with more detail to distract from any potential dirt again that is a complete personal preference but in terms of being more forgiving and having that same material and feel of the last dress this would be a phenomenal option to consider i'm going to change into our next dress and next material so that you can get a feel for what i have for you there here we have this beautiful ines de santo gown really clean she's done the rouging on the bodice it's so gorgeous how her rouging actually has no external seam on the top so it looks like this fabric is draped and wrapped all the way around into that zipper where she has buttons that finish it off. Something that's really beautiful is that she's covered the waist seam with the rouging so it's at the perfect place right at the natural waist white right where it creases and what's so strategic she is contouring your body here with the seams. Notice how the seams go out and in like an angle really shaping your waist giving you that beautiful curve of the hip and elongating you as it continues down. Also a trick here is the fuller the bottom the smaller the waist so if you are going with a ball gown or an a-line dress it really ties in your waistline beautifully and a dress like this giving you the perfect hourglass shape with the full bottom which you can compare the fullness to the other dresses that I tried on and how beautiful it even accentuates my shape that much more and it does that on everybody. Here we are in another Ines de Santo gown. In the last gown we talked about the contouring of the seams and the fullness of the bottom and we've already done all the clean dresses. I'm particularly choosing fitted dresses to showcase for you because that is the least forgiving in terms of silhouette and shape. So when you're thinking about different fabrics to select it really comes down to first you pick the shape of gown that you want. And then from there, you're able to identify the fabrics that you like and don't like. So the first things first when you're picking your dress is pick the shape that you love your body in. Now, when it comes to a dress like this, a few things to consider when it comes to the material is this is a beaded lace. It has a little bit of sequence. It's not anything like the bright stones that you could see with that has sparkled. It's more of like a sequence that's with in the lace that has a little bit more of a shimmer is what I would call it. You definitely feel it in on your arms. So this is a material that you are maybe gonna get a little bit of chafing. It could happen, it could not happen. I have more sensitive skin and I have felt that before on evening gowns. So if that's something that's gonna bother you, pick a material that is comfortable for you to wear. This doesn't bother me. It's super, super mild, but it is there. And of course, the more beading you go, the more potential it has to be a little bit more rough on your arm, something to consider. Not a deal breaker unless it is specifically a deal breaker for you. I still opt for sparkly dresses that irritate my skin because one of my favorite colors is sparkle. That being said, here is a gorgeous lace dress. I love the fact that the lace is being used to cover the seam. So there would be a seam right here. They've covered it with the lace, really making it a seamless look. Same with the skirt, so you don't have any lines or any interruption of that sort. Ines de Santo is definitely a master of using structure and lace and patterns to contour your body and really accentuate it. She even does it in ball gowns. So as you see here in the bodice, you can see the boning at an angle at a slant. You have the deep plunge really driving everything into the midline to make your waist look as tiny as possible. She does this same concept in a ball gown and the skirt would just go out from there. So you can still have these elements of contour in a ball gown as well. And the way in which she is defining the hips, the fact that not only the line goes that way, but the material goes from thick to thin in the way in which she has designed it along with the color transition to really highlight and bring out various aspects of your body. I hope that you found this video helpful and added a little bit more clarity of different materials and things to consider. I'm so excited to see what you end up with. Drop me a comment below. Let me know how this video helped you and what you landed on for your wedding dress. For more videos and tips like these, please be sure to tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.